Welcome back to a tutorial on Arsenal. So, this is going to be a one video thing. I'm just going to explain Arsenal itself. I do have the Trigger Finger Pro connected to it right now. But we're not going to be, as you can see if I hit the pads, but we're not going to be going over the Finger Trigger Pro. We're just going to be going over Arsenal and what it does. And we'll just show some stuff on Finger Trigger Pro. Because if you don't have finger, the Finger Trigger Pro, I don't really, or Trigger Finger Pro, sorry. It, you, you really don't need Arsenal. So basic things you have your volume here which can also be controlled on your trigger finger pro you have your four sliders then you have your four buttons toggle buttons you have and these are just how you set what you're gonna do and then you have your uh, pads 16 pads and there's four banks of the 16 pads as you can see here uh, so you have you can switch between 64 pads technically. Um, so first off, you have your oh I also forgot about your knobs. You have knobs too. Let's go back to our bank A, and so we have we're on bank A right now. So every so everything here is just for bank A. When you switch to bank B, they also have their own things. So let's go back to A, and we're gonna go to patch edit learn and now we're at learn so we can actually set these controls to do whatever we want them to do as you can see here so for example i want we actually have to make sure we have an arsenal hold on arsenal load okay so now we can set this anything we want so let's just start with the pads so for example you just click these any of these things in here these are all ways you choose uh you limit what you look at, you're looking for so say you want something that's ambient but also airy there we go you just click on that it takes a little bit to load sometimes but as you can hear it makes sounds and all these things have been set and you can actually change these based on what you have so I can if I don't want this to be a uh, delay I can make it do let's see what should we make it do residence there we go so as we now we change the residence we have reverb here so just by turning this knob as you can see it changes things our toggle wall buttons and everything is set up, you can set everything to whatever you want just by clicking the little thing down here. Anything is in here, and then these are just some extra stuff. Uh, what else is there? Patch edit. There's patch edit, there's plugin edit, there's, so there's two different things. This is the plugin original thing, and this is what you set it to. And you have your different, this is just colors, I guess. They, uh, you see, so you can kind of make it look how you want it to look. You actually have this is actually the plug-in out hybrid, but volume here, which I believe can be controlled. No, you can't control everything from the Trigger Finger Pro. But I'm not gonna go into that too much. So we can pick, go through our stuff up here. Uh, view. We can toggle the views of what we actually want to see. Cause we might just want to see this. Maybe we just want to see. The pads, maybe we want to see both of them. Then this right here is just going to be a little tag thing. Kind of show you what this thing is here. So if we go here and now it's dynamic. It just shows you what it's under. Question mark gives you your information about Arsenal. What build you have is really all it's here. Settings, let's go to settings and explain some of this. So this is all of your plugins. So you can scan for plugins just by hitting scan. And it's going to scan your entire computer for all your plugins. Then you also have your I.O. setup, which you can set your outputs, inputs, um, the sample rate based on what your whatever audio interface you're using can handle. I'm just, I have the built-in stuff going on here. Set what MIDI inputs you want. So whether you want it to be MIDI, Mackie, Arsenal, uh, through the audio box, and then I have some ports here, but. And then your MIDI output. So if you hit this. 
it tests so you can actually test it if your uh, buffer size is too much so if I set this down no 16 it's gonna be messed up see I br I'm gonna go 128 and there you go it works so I shouldn't go for that too much that's not a big deal right now so what else do we have we have the, these two buttons this button is to do different things from your trigger finger pro like you could import various things you can load your sequences into the hardware if you have so what you can do is you can actually export certain sequences off of your trigger finger pro on a, your computer and then you can load them back in using that um as you can see and then this is just a save button so this is this is actually used to export your plugins uh your plugin maps and your sequences so see it's, you can see uh export any of your sequences there um i think that's actually pretty much it our symbols a pretty simple thing you can't actually hear what the sounds are but Anyway, so I got a little distracted there. Uh, that's all I'm really going to go over for now. If you want me to do an in-depth tutorial on maybe the Trigger Finger Pro or even a little bit more into Arsenal, I think I pretty much covered everything, though. But I could do a tutorial on Trigger Finger Pro if anyone wants that. So, yeah, thanks for watching.